Hi, this is Jillian with Launch for Life. If you're like me, you use Facebook for business and for pleasure. Every once in a while, you can run across something in Facebook that will make you rip your hair out. And what I'm talking about is the Facebook white screen of death. It is something that happened to me a couple of weeks ago, and I didn't know how common this was until it had happened to me and I began to see all the people in the help forum. And this is one of those things that does not go away on its own. You have to do something. And as you know, Facebook doesn't really have tech support that you can really get some good help from. So I'm gonna tell you what I did and then that way you can see if these tips will work for you. So first of all, let me scoot over to what the white screen of death looks like. Now, this is a screen capture because I'm all fixed now, so that's the plus. <laughs> I actually got this all fixed at the end, so that's great. But this is what it looks like. You log into Facebook and you see Facebook up here in the uh, URL bar and you see that you're in Facebook, but you just see nothing but a white screen. And you're just like, is it stuck? Is it not logging in? You might have seen a message that said, there's a problem, we're working on it, who knows? But this is all you see when you log into Facebook. Now, the first thing that I wanna let you know is, even though you don't know it, you are actually logged into Facebook, you just can't see anything. And the way to tell exactly that you are logged in is if you go over and uh, type in facebook.com and then you type in slash help and then slash community, you will arrive on this screen and it will probably say, you know, whatever your name is, hi, so-and-so, how can we help you up here in this title bar? But you'll also see the little picture of yourself here, which makes you realize you are logged into Facebook. Now, of course, if you click on return to Facebook, it would be so nice if you clicked on that and went to your personal profile, but you don't, you just go back to the white screen. So this allows you to kind of scroll through their help topics and find anything. And this is actually where I got some tips on things that you can try. Now, of course, some of the standard things are, um, you know, delete the browser cache. Well, actually, first of all, go through and check your browsers. So if you're using Chrome, try using Firefox or try using Safari if you have a Mac. See if a different browser will get you in. For me, none of that worked. You can also delete the cache of your browser so that you're kind of like clearing it out that didn't help. I tried turning my computer on again and off again. I even tried resetting my Facebook password because that will disconnect you out of all your devices. That didn't work for me either. So I'm assuming that you've already done this and you're just like, okay, what do I need to do? I've reported this to Facebook. They send you a nice little message that says, thank you for your feedback. We're working to make Facebook better, which means no one is ever going to email you back. So that's why you need to find your own fix. Here's the, here's the fix. If you see this screen here, then you know you are in fact logged into Facebook, but you just can't see anything. So here's the tip. If you type in, m.facebook.com, you will see the Facebook mobile version, which was the same. And for me, when I had the white screen of death, I could actually, which we'll go back over and look at, when I had this white screen of death, I could still go on to Facebook with my iPad and my iPhone. I just couldn't access it on my computer. So if you're looking at the mobile version, you will see that it has all your regular stuff that you can go through and look at. It looks really, really weird because it's, you know, totally disproportioned. So that's kind of strange, but you need to access this part to fix it, or you can do the same thing using a mobile device. So if you only have a cell phone, you know, uh, you only have your iPad or your iPhone or something like that. What I'm showing you now, you can do on your phone. It, to me, it was just easier on my computer. So what you wanna do is you wanna go up to the top and you wanna click on 
these three little stripes in the upper right corner, uh, usually known as the hamburger menu. So click on those and then scroll down to the very bottom of your page. And I will move myself off of this. And you will notice under help and settings, you want to click settings. So then once you do that, it's going to come up to your account settings and your security and your privacy. And you want this section here, your Facebook information. And what you want to do is you want to click this button that says download your information. And what that does is when you click on that, it will ask you, what do you, what do you want to download? And this is like if you wanted to take an entire copy of your Facebook, all your posts, all your videos, all your photos, all your comments, if you wanted everything, then what this is going to do is it's going to download it for you in a sort of a compressed file, a zipped file. But what this does is it somehow reboots your page. So it reboots your personal profile by doing this download. So you'll never actually need the download. So I just left everything selected, scrolled down to the bottom, and I said, yes, create the file. And when I created the file, sent it to my email address that I have on record with Facebook, and then I went into Facebook, and it was like nothing had ever happened. Everything was there. It was all redone and every, I didn't lose a post. I didn't lose a picture. I didn't lose anything. Everything was in my timeline. I was still in my same groups. So it, in essence, all it did was sort of reboot my, my face. It was just kind of like somebody turned on my profile, turned it off and turned it back on again. That's what it felt like. And that fixed it for me. So I hope this video is helpful. I know how frustrating it can be. I was locked out of Facebook for a week. It was very frustrating to only be able to access Facebook on my phone. I have groups that I'm in and I wasn't able to do a lot of administrative stuff. So I hope this is helpful for you. Um, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and or leave a note in the comments. And happy Facebooking.